Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel. In this lesson, we are going to explore what is called as the plagal cadence in music, which is a very important two chord movement, which has been done by pretty much all musicians from the classical period to today. Sometimes when you're building a chord progression, you can't finish the whole chord progression. You want to start with a couple of chords and then build it like building blocks, right? So in order to compose a chord progression, one needs to learn these cadences or smaller movements. So in this lesson, we are going to look at what is called as the plagal cadence. Okay. And plagal means four going to one. Okay, that's what you need to remember, 4 going to 1. So if I take the key of C major, C major's 4th is F, isn't it? C, D, E, F. So to create a plagal movement, what you do is you play F and then go down to C. Okay, you can do a lower F going to see very commonly used in fact even in church music we call this as the amen cadence which is usually found at the end of every hymn isn't it amen and the song is over or the hymn is over right in pop music and in these rock epic rock ballads what they end up doing is they may do four four minor and end with one that creates a little bit more emotion right Okay, this is the normal plagal again. F, C. Okay, with the minor movement. F major, F minor. And end on C major. Okay. F major. Very commonly used in a lot of pop rock music. So I'm going to give you a lot of approaches which I found make this plagal cadence work for a lot of chord progressions. The first approach is where you already have a chord progression, right? If you have a chord progression like let's say 1, 4 or 5 running uh, in, a, in a song, what you could do is you could spice up each one of these chords with the plagal cadence, right? So if the chord is going on for very, very long, you can use the plagal cadence in this way. So it's sort of still a C major chord. It's still C in the bass, but you're making C major more interesting, right? Or the C major is becoming more like a journey as opposed to a just a block of C major, right? So C major, uh, um, this works really well. It takes it to a little bit of a tense state and then you come back down. And observe that I'm not changing my left hand. So it's forming sort of what we call a slash chord. Okay. That's your slash. So how do we call this F major slash C? C in the bass, F major in the right. We've done a lot of videos on slash chords. So do check them out in the description. Okay. C major. Okay. So you could keep going. So let's say you have a bunch of major chords in your chord progression. So to spice up C, play an F major. You could also make that movement as part of the melody. If you like the minor plagal. Now go to F. That's your next chord in the chord progression. And you slash it. F. What is the plagal cadence from this F chord? B flat. Going to F, right? B flat is... F's perfect fourth. These are all perfect fourth intervals. You don't want to play a tritone by mistake. That's a tritone. So F, B flat to embellish it and come back to F. Right? So let's do C. Plagal. Back. Now go to F. F, uh, B flat, F's plagal. Back to F. 
maybe go back to see now go to f and now go to g f and back to c and i like also toggling sometimes i may do a major plagal going to c sometimes i may do a minor going to c so there are a lot of opportunities you have actually when you're using the plagal cadence and in this case you're not destroying or changing or tampering with your existing chord progression your chords are c f g in some order right so any time you play c you're just spicing it up it's pretty much it when you go to f spice it with b flat b flat minor if you want back to a but it on the na 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 and it will inspire your melody definitely okay i'm just going to jam with it a little bit na 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 do da 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 ta he re do re he ra re do e ra ra e ra ra back to c na 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 long c major na 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 of songwriters who play the piano who you know find this technique useful and i guess why i got sort of got attached to this is it's actually quite easy come to think of it because if you have to go to f major you have to change your left hand but if you use f major as a passing chord your left hand can just be c so i've heard a lot of great artists doing this and i think you should as well listen to elton john for sure and billy joel these artists i think use this technique a lot and also if you do do this with maybe church music or hymns or uh, gospel music you know you can squeeze in this plagal cadence pretty much everywhere like um amazing grace how sweet the sound right says a wretch like me found works quite well was blind but now i see in fact you could start the chord itself with the slash chord or the plagal chord i see amazing grace how sweet the sound it's like me and so on and so forth so that's pretty much the bare bone structure of the plagal cadence it's essentially a four going to one and in certain music especially if you're a fan of bands like queen or maybe radiohead you'll find that they do na 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 right you'll have that four major going to four minor and then pulling itself to one major so all these opportunities exist with the plagal cadence so a great way to kind of learn this plagal cadence is actually write down the circle of fifths and you move clockwise to the clockwise neighbor for example f is just before c or is the neighbor of c so all you have to do to create a plagal cadence is do f going to c and you can stare at the circle so even if you have something a bit tricky which you may not have encountered like maybe 
What about E flat? You ask yourself the question, what is E flat's fourth? That's A flat. So the plagal journey will be clockwise from A flat to E flat. Right? What about D flat? D flat's fourth is F sharp. La da 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 And you can even create a nice plagal journey, you know. F, C, G, D, maybe A, E, B, F sharp. You really don't know where you're going, right? So it, it's quite interesting. It'll really, I hope it can really inspire you to take your chord progressions to the next level or maybe hopefully develop a new approach towards building chord progressions, which in this case need not really be built diatonically. You're not really building it from the major scale with those stringent rules, you know. You're trying to just look at the circle of fifths and do stuff from there. So in the next part, we're going to look at the plagal cadence in what we call as the mixolydian mode, or which is a very commonly used scale for rock music, ballads, the Beatles use it as well. And I may even bring out a Beatles song in the next lesson. So practice this hard and... Uh, Head over to the next video right now. And if you haven't already, turn on the bell, subscribe, give us a like, share the video. Cheers.